third Sunday after the Epiphany, Year C, from the book of Nehemiah, the joy of the Lord is your strength. In the name of the Lord who rejoices in us, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, in our Gospel, Jesus proclaims release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and freedom to the oppressed, and the year of the Lord's favor to everyone. Now before we go and share that proclamation, we first have to receive it ourselves. Any number of forces and factors in our world are currently conspiring to tell us that the universe is a hostile place where we do not belong. When something or someone distresses us, we want to say, I have no need of you, or I do not belong to the same body as you. We want to find fault, either with the world or with ourselves, and sometimes we manage to do both. To this, Paul's letter to the Corinthians replies, There are many members, yet one body. God calls to us as Christians to resist the blindness that sees only our own functioning in isolation from the functioning of others. In this year of the Lord's favor, our challenge is to recognize the belovedness of the whole, acknowledging the body not only in the sacrament of the altar, but also in the people around us. This means recognizing that what may seem to be oppression from forces beyond our control may, in fact, be an invitation from the universe for us to rise to a higher level of functioning. The whole point of the law is to train us to focusing on developing the strength of who we each are and how we each connect with others rather than languishing in regret over who we are not and how others connect. Statutes of the Lord, therefore, are just and rejoice the heart by training it to beat like a heart rather than grasping like a hand. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes, honey to the mouth, and gold to the crafting hand. Our Lord takes joy in the strength we each develop through our practice of the law because our Lord delights in the fullness and functioning of each element of creation. Let us therefore lift up our hearts to receive our share of that joy, for this is the year of our Lord's favor. Today, the scripture has been fulfilled in our hearing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.